<laughs> All right, well, if that wasn't a good, good, you know, tip off. We are here with Kate from Katie Did and Jim and Alexis with four dogs. Two of them are in the car still. And yeah, we are up near Judith Peak in Montana looking for Montana Diamonds, which are squat crystals. They're double terminated smoky quartz and oh, they're so awesome. And they cut really well. Gotta check this out. So if you look at all this, <laughs> all those little black marks inside of this porphyry, those are smoky quartz crystals. So they're really hard to get out uh, cleanly from this material, but we're gonna go look through the washes and see if we can't find any loose. There should be a good amount. Usually do pretty well here, so. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's find some good stuff. Alrighty, there's some right there. Oh, hello, Sai. And yeah, you can see we're just looking for stuff that has eroded out of this. You see this cliff face right here. Every one of those little black dots. That's a smoky quartz crystal. <laughs> oh man, that was a good one right there. Yeah, and these are awesome. I, they're awesome specimens, but I actually really like faceting them. So that is a pretty cool specimen right there. Floyd, quit pulling on me. So that is actually a smoky quartz crystal, but you can see it's on top of feldspar, which is pretty awesome. It actually looks less like a squat crystal and more like a normal one, if I'm being honest. That's pretty cool. So this is a really cool piece. So there's a bunch of crystals in here. That one right there is not only a nice size, but it's it's like perfect. So I had a theory. Last time I was here, I did not have a scribe available. So I think with the scribe, we might actually be able to excavate those crystals out of the host rock because that's um, porphyry, which is fairly soft. Why did you just shut off camera? Ooh, that's a good one. In matrix. I think we'll keep that just because I like it. And yeah, I don't need any more reason than that. Oh yeah, that's a nice little crystal. Man, there are flies just surrounding me and it's driving me nuts. Okay, I think we've hit a good pocket because we're definitely starting to find them now. Dude, I'm gonna keep this one in my pocket because I want to spray it off because it's filthy, but I think that might be really cool. And look at it sticking out of the matrix like that. Love it. I love it so much. These are actually really, really cool. I know as far as uh, smoky quartz crystals in Montana go, they're probably nothing special, but well, actually they definitely don't compare to the, the stuff in, <laughs> in the Boulder Batholith area. That stuff is madness. Oh gosh, I'm sliding. Okay. Oh my gosh. Those are like actual normal smoky quartz crystals. They're little, but that is so cool. Dude, that's like three now. What? I am actually, I don't have a response to that. I didn't think they were in this area. But that's like three or four little crystal clusters now. I mean, they're very small crystals, but I mean, who cares? Terminated quartz crystals are terminated quartz crystals. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's gonna be a good candidate for the scribe, because I see a bunch of crystals that are still in good shape poking out. So who knows, there might be a bunch in there. I am gonna make sure to to grab some of these so that we can test that out. Oh, I just found a good little wash right here. Finding some good ones in this little pocket. Ah, if I can get that in my backpack, there we go. And yeah, you can see exactly how they're coming out of here. They're just eroding out of this porphyry. Hmm. Oh, hey, that's a complete one I'll come with. All right, so I just went around the corner a little bit. There's a good wash right here. These are actually all pretty good. And yeah, they are all just eroding down here. Oh, that's a good one. That is a suspect for the scribe, I think. Man, there's a bunch in here too. <laughs> this is a very trained method that I'm doing right here. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, there's not really as much in that block as I was expecting. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so this is a dark, smoky one, uh, believe it or not, hiding underneath all that porphyry. That's a dark, smoky crystal. And uh, as if that wasn't cool enough, there's actually rutile in this one. That's crazy. Um, remind me to show you this when we get back to the shop, and I'm holding you to that. You better remind me, 
because I forget. I say things during a hunt, and then two days later, I'm at the shop, and I don't remember all the things that I say. Ooh, that's a good one. It appears to have a wee bit of purple. Here, we see the Katie did in her natural habitat. Generally, calm in nature can be quite dangerous if provoked. I think we are safe at the moment. She doesn't see us. Oh my gosh, you guys. You're not ready for this. You guys, you're not, you're not ready. Sorry about the wind noise, by the way. But you're not ready for this. And they don't call it the Big Sky State for nothing. Well, we were just coming up here so we could get some footage of the overlook, but uh, I started looking around and <laughs> we're finding non-squat smoky quartz, like normal crystals. And I found this one that's got a bunch in there. So we actually are gonna spend a little bit of time over on another slope because we're actually finding a good amount of smoky quartz right here. Oh, look at that. Dude, those are, those ain't no squat crystals right there. <laughs> that is awesome. What? That's so cool. Oh, there's a bunch in that one. What? All right, well, that's coming with, obviously. What? Wait, I'm being summoned. Yes? Okay. Okay. Apparently, I've been voted off the island. I'll stop looking for my, my... I've been voted down the mountain. But yeah, this is cool, man. <laughs> Sorry. You guys, this rock is just loaded with crystals. That is amazing. There's so many in there. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. All right, well, that's gonna go right there. Oh, you've got stuff for me? Oh, look at that pile of rocks. You've done well. <laughs> Okay, so this is so cool. That is common opal, and in between all of the common opal, those are smoky quartz crystals poking up. But then we just found this. Look at all the crystals in that vein, and there's common opal. Like, that is so cool. We gotta get that out. Like, we, we, we gotta. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> what? Look at it. I'm so happy right now. That is incredible. I'm, I'm happy as a clam. That's such a weird saying, random side note. Like, what? I don't think clams are even capable of joy. Alexis. Oh, wow. You guys, this is flipping sweet. I'm so happy right now. This is a good day. It is a good day. Ah, crystals. I love them so much, and we get to find them so, so rarely that this is just awesome. All right, guys, my GoPro is not going to show this and do it justice at all, but there's so many crystals in these rocks right here. Like, it's just crazy. I was n I was expecting the squat crystals, which can be very nice, but oh gosh. <laughs> I was not expecting nice smokies like this. Really caught me off guard. All right, well, I think it is time for us to head back to town, but that was so awesome. Like, I was so not prepared for that. Like, I knew we were going to get Montana diamonds, but man. Those smoky quartz crystals came out of nowhere and I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> so, it's the magic of Theo and Kate combined. Yeah. Our enthusiasm just brings it to us. See, we always find the best stuff when we go out together. So <laughs> uh, let's do this again soon, yeah. in other words. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, I'll see you all back in the shop. Hello, friends and fellows. We have once again returned to my place of employ where we can now take our first close look at the crystals. Shall we? Okay. Okay. So first things first, I'm actually going to take all of these loose Montana diamonds. We're going to throw them in a barrel and let them run uh, in the tumbler for just, I don't know, like overnight, just, just in soap. And that's just going to clean them off. That's way faster than doing it individually. But I went ahead and tested and my suspicion was correct. Also, I'm still organizing stuff from Florida, so don't judge me. I mean, you, you can judge me a little. It's fine. 
<laughs> so I tested with the scribe and it works. It works beautifully. So let's go do that. I mean it works awesome that crack was actually because that was what was on the outside of the of the matrix so it was like uh, like that so the scribe did not crack it it was just already like that but man that works so well now I can go in the tumbler but I think we can also not just get them out that way but I think we can also go in on bigger pieces like well I'm way too close like that right there and excavate them so that we can show all the crystals better. Which I think would, you know, probably be, uh, I don't know, cool. plainly see it's it works really really well I'm gonna do more but I also have another plan for this video and I still haven't even showed you everything so uh, I guess I'll do that on my own time I guess all right everybody so I think the next step is let's facet one two or several of these I don't know how much time I have so let's do it <laughs> Okay, well, now that we've done that, I wanted to just, you know, highlight some of my favorite finds. So, uh, all of the loose ones, if I can get it to focus, let's just zoom in a little bit. Maybe that'll help. A little bit. <laughs> uh, I, if you remember, we just tossed them all into tumbler with just soap and some media to cushion everything. And yeah, cleaned them all up beautifully, actually. They're a weird crystal that doesn't, they're, you know, quartz normally, oh, I swear I have an example around here somewhere, where is it? Always looking for things. Anyway, quartz crystals usually have a really nice shine on their faces. These are weird, <laughs> because they're always encased in porphyry, they just don't. Even when you get it off, they're just, yeah, they don't really have those shiny faces the same way that other quartz crystals do. They're still awesome, though, <laughs> as you could, you know, tell, because... They're so pretty. I love fastening them. Anyway, though, yeah, so those cleaned up really well. Uh, we'll probably be fastening more at some point. And again, could not believe how well the scribe worked. <laughs> the longer I have that thing in my possession, the more applications I find for it. But yeah, even here, you see, the only one of these that's shiny after being prepped that way is the one that's broken. <laughs> and, you know, obviously it's shiny on the inside. Also got a pleasant surprise that I did not notice. That's tourmaline. It's just black tourmaline, so just a little bit of, of squirrel in there, but still, that was a pleasant surprise. thought that was awesome. Here's another piece that's awesome. So these are Montana diamonds. But if you get in real close, I actually don't know if my camera's going to pick that up. There's normal smoky quartz crystals in there, too. All right, and from the other spot, as for our smoky quartz finds, this one's one of my favorites. Look at all the crystals in there. There's so many. Just dark, smoky quartz. 
this thing is just consistent of like big strands of quartz. It's so pretty. I wish I could remove that material because it would probably look crazy. <laughs> you, you know me. My go-to reaction was to just dunk it in some muriatic acid. Yeah, it didn't work. So, we will have to find another method. Those two right there especially are just fantastic. Oh, man. We got this one right here. This is one of our, our first good finds. Two nice crystals there. But, yeah, actually, there's kind of a good amount. I'm going to need to get some iron out. I do such a small amount of crystal hunting that I do not have any. Should help, I assume. And this piece is awesome. So, <laughs> look at all the crystals. Again, they're just, they're small. As far as Smoky Quartz goes, and I mean even as far as Smoky Quartz goes in Montana, these aren't really crazy, but they are crazy because I did not know that they were over there. Because, you know, we were going for these. We knew these were there, but the difference in quality is kind of night and day. <laughs> if you ask me. And this right here is actually common opal, which is pretty awesome. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool, and I love it. And we're going back, for sure. This thing is awesome. So, those are little tiny crystals of, of uh, feldspar. But look at that crystal up top. Again, that is no squat crystal. That is a, a normal smoky quartz crystal. That's really pretty. But, obviously... <laughs> It's not huge at all, but that has to be the find of the day. Focus! Oh, it worked last time. I discovered last time that if I just scream at my camera, it works. Look at how amazing that crystal is. Perfect dark smoky quartz with another crystal growing off the back of it. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Again, we will be going back, and we're going to be doing other crystal digging this summer because I love these things, and I really, really want to get better at hunting for them, but all of the exposures are like four hours away. But this isn't, so we might have to spend some time over there. I'm very intrigued by what I was seeing. Anyway, though, uh, I picked out some good ones. Let's just take a look at more, because why not? guys i think that's gonna do it for this one that was just such an awesome hunt got into awesome stuff and even more awesome stuff that we weren't planning on which is you know just awesome <laughs> definitely look forward to more of those at some point in the future i definitely want to go back over there now that i know what kind of stuff is out there because i i am still in just shock at the smoky courts it's it's crazy also, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a faceting video. I know I've been talking about that for like ever and just have never gotten around to it. So yeah, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And uh, actually, on a note unrelated to today's video, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you all so much because the channel just hit 10,000 subscribers, which is just madness. I can't even believe it. It's crazy. We're going to be doing a giveaway and a Q&A. So, uh, down in the comments of this video, please uh, start asking questions. Um, it, it's going to be, I say Q&A, but it's going to be an AMA, so feel free to ask literally any question you want. And again, leave that down in the comments. I'm going to be writing them all down and we'll answer them during the, uh, I don't know if I'm doing a video yet or a live stream, but we're doing some form of thing. <laughs> but yeah, I just thank you all so much. It's, I can't even believe it. I mean... 10,000 10, subscribers. 10,000 of you believe that I'm worth watching, and that's... It's crazy. Very humbling, and I promise I'll keep doing my best. But yeah, we'll we'll do more thank yous and whatnot during the, the live stream. But yeah, as for this video, that's going to do it. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff, consider subscribing, because we do it all the time. Also, uh, liking if I earned it. And leave me a comment if you have any questions for the AMA. 
I'll have links to my Instagram, Facebook group, uh, store, and apparently TikTok, because that's a thing now, um, up in the description. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.